1992, Noise described four hop tests that are linear in nature, the single leg hop, the triple hop for distance, the six meter time hop, and the triple crossover hop. This video gives you a tutorial on how to administer each of these. The first hop within the sequence is the single leg hop for distance. The procedures are consistent with Heights et al. in 2014, which is also consistent with the original description of the tests by Noise et al. in 1992. The only exception is that there are three trials that are performed within the flea rather than just two, and the max, and the max of three are averaged together. The outcome is distance in centimeters, and then the passing criteria is 90% of limb symmetry index and greater than 90% of demographic norms. Often the uninvolved, by convention, the uninvolved limb is tested first, followed by the involved limb. The athlete needs to stick the landing for a minimum of two seconds. Additionally, the single leg hop for distance, can, the criteria used can be determined for in-phase clinical milestones, such as the initiation of running. And depending on where they are along the continuum of return to sport, you may have different passing criteria at that time. The next top is the six meter time top. And the outcome here is time in seconds. The stopwatch begins when upon the athlete's first movement and stops once their center of mass passes the six meter mark. The test procedures are also outlined by Heights et al. in 2014, which is consistent with that of noise in 1992. A pro tip is to ensure that the athlete is in a stationary single leg stance prior to their initial movement. Often athletes will want to use a bit of momentum and be uh, anxious to be able to get the test underway as it is a timed and speed based assessment. Passing criteria is consistent with that of the single leg hop with 90% limb symmetry index and 90% demographic norms. The triple hop for distance. So three hops and then the athlete needs to again stick the landing for a minimum of two seconds without a loss of balance. The passing criteria is shown there for 90% limb symmetry index as well as 90% demographic norms. Depending on where your athlete is within the rehab continuum, the passing criteria may fluctuate. Finally is the triple crossover hop for distance. A common misconception with this test is that the athlete is not simply bouncing back and forth over a single finite line, but rather there are two lines. Shown here is uh, the white line that you can see and then another dark line that is a line on the floor separating the tiles and those lines are 15 centimeters apart and the athlete is required to be able to completely clear each of those they stand medial to the line so their first hop is medial and then they are comparing their uninvolved to their uninvolved their uninvolved to their involved limb and looking at the distance there If you have any follow-up comments, questions, or concerns, or feedback regarding these tests and or this video and content, feel free to leave your information and comments in the section below. Here are the two references that are mentioned within the video.